Hey there, this is Drew at Mount Bachelor. I'm very, very pleased to welcome Loren Ross. She is a member of the Women's Alpine US Ski Team and she's our newest Mount Bachelor sponsored athlete. And she's practically a hometown girl spending her youth racing up here at Mount Bachelor. Loren, thank you so much for being here with us. You're welcome, thanks for having me. So we're up here today, it's a beautiful day. We're watching one of the many youth races going on right now and it probably brings back some memories for you from your racing days here at Mount Bachelor. Give us a sense of how you started here at Mount Bachelor? Oh, well, I moved to Oregon when I was seven, and I've been racing for Bachelor ever since then. Um, I remember getting in my first course at Bachelor over on Cliffhanger. I remember racing in my first Super G on Cliffhanger. I remember scaring myself a lot, racing, free skiing, you know, all the terrain here at Mount Bachelor is pretty incredible. So I've had a lot of really good times here on the snow. You grew up racing with MBSEF and there are still some coaches around who I'm sure you love to come back and catch up with. Is that right? Yeah, that's definitely true. There are a lot of them are on the hill right now. Actually, I want to go say hi in a, in a little while. But yeah, I've got a lot of people that I'm really close to that are here. So it's, it's always nice to come back home and be able to ski here at my home mountain. How often are you able to get back here to Mount Bachelor? I know being on the World Cup circuit now with the women's alpine team keeps you pretty darn busy. So how often are you able to actually get back here? Um, I mean, I spend a couple months here in the summer, but during the winter time, it's kind of hard. Usually I'm home for Christmas for like a week on Christmas break. This is a, a special circumstance right now. I had a bit of a crash, so I'm home for a little longer. But I mean, at most I'll spend two to three weeks at home in Bend during the winter. Now, speaking of that crash, without getting into too many details of exactly what happened, it was a bit of a scary crash for you, I imagine. And here we are surrounded by young racers in the sport right now who are perhaps trying to overcome some fears themselves, so maybe some crashes they might have had. What are the things, what is the thought process that you go through to recover mentally from, from a big crash? Um, well, I think it's hard at first when you're trying to accept the fact that either A, you're injured, or B, you're scared, or three, you have to go back. Um, so at first, usually, I mean, this time especially, I just kind of took it really, really easy for a couple of days. And you know, I thought about it a lot. I thought about crashing, I thought about what happened, I thought about what could happen next time. But I, I think you have to just come to accept the fact that you're taking those risks. And this is a very risky sport and it's not safe. So. You, you you have to know that you know everybody takes a crash everybody gets hurt it's just something that comes along with the joys of being a ski racer so i think i've just i've taken quite a few spills and i've come to understand that you know that sort of stuff just happens and i've accepted it and i'm willing to take that risk to you know have the fun that I do on the course. Speaking of fun, Mount Bachelor here can be a pretty fun mountain. Where are some of your favorite places to ski here on the mountain? Oh, uh, well, I have to say one of my favorite runs is Cliffhanger because I've spent so much time on it and yep. there are tons of rolls and it's really fun to just rip around, rip some GS turns down it. I love the Sparks Lake run over on Northwest. Um, I like Pecker Woods on Outback. Outback might be my favorite chair for free skiing when, when we've got some good powder. Um, you know, the backside can be really, really sweet with all the wind lips and, oh geez, there's just so much good skiing. I, I don't know. I like the cone, you know, on days <laughs> like today when, you know, there's yeah. not a ton of snow everywhere. It's, it's good to get up on there and get some fresh snow, but there's, there's a lot of good skiing. I can't really pick out a favorite run, but I've got a couple places in mind. But. Yeah, with over 3,600 acres, there's a lot yeah. to choose from here. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us here today. It's so nice to uh, have you stop by and visit your home mountain. Yeah. And don't be a stranger. We'd love to see you back from time to time. Cool. It's great to be back. And thanks for having me and talking. And yeah, I love it here. So I'm psyched to be home. Loren Ross, thank you. Good luck to you on the circuit this season as well. Thanks. <laughs>